This is a quick little video of my workflow for scanning and editing black and white negatives with a digital camera. Definitely not covering everything. <laughs> um, like I said, quick little video. Um, I have taken a photo of the negative with a full frame digital camera, a Leica SL2S. And then I import that photo into Capture One. Uh, as you can see, it is a negative. First thing I'm gonna do is, I can just see I, you know, I shot you know, exposed to the right a little bit. So a lot of my values are up high. Um, I'm going to center those just a little bit. And then now I'm going to come to my levels tool and just spread those values out over all possible values. Now I'm going to flip this to a black and white image. So now there's no color. All right. Boom. Enable black and white. Um, but still a negative. So that means I got to invert this. I'm going to do that with the levels tool. Just flip my highlight and my my white point and my black point. Uh, adjust my where my mid tone is. Um, going to crop. And now I have to, some of these things work in the regular direction, like contrast. Um, other things are reversed. So like my highlights are actually my shadows. Right. Some people might just object <laughs> to, to the fact that that's how things will work. Um, I don't mind. Uh, overall exposure looks good. Overall contrast looks good. Brightness, yep. Um, I might want to bring down my darkest shadows a little bit. And I might want to bring up my Midtones just a hair. -y. Yeah, that's close. And then uh, I always like to check these preset curves to see if something jumps out to me is much better. Um, I do kind of dislike. <clears throat> I do think there's room to maybe add some contrast and to brighten it a little bit. So I think I might brighten it, add a little more contrast. And then just touch up a little bit of dodge and burn here. Again, I have to think in reverse. So this is actually going to brighten. And I mean, I'm basically done. So that was a, a photo where I had basically nailed the exposure and the development. Um, let's try on a much harder one. So this one, I <coughs> this was a shot with a exposure index of 30, <laughs> P30. 
and this is an indoor shot, almost in evening time, right? Uh, I think my shutter was like one eighth or one fifteenth, and so and even then it's underexposed. <clears throat> so this is going to be a much harder edit. All right, center those a little bit. Use my level tool. Enable black and white, RGB, flip my white point and black point, adjust my midtone. Check the curves. Kind of like that contrasty look right there. Interesting. Really turned out better than I thought it would. Uh, some quick healing. Check my sharpening. Chill that out. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, just checking out. Let's see. I don't know that I, yeah, I don't mind these, this, these highlights in the top here are grabbing the eye and it's out, that's outside the front door is open. Might just see what happens if I sync those a bit. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I'm really close. Remember highlights again are the, actually the shadows. Be interested to see what happens if I really drop the shadows. Yeah, okay. That's uh feels you know, until I know what my actual output is, I don't think I'm gonna stop obsessing over it. Okay, you know, and then I could do a little, why don't I, just for the sake of it, um, you know, I set this to 70% because, well, you know what, actually with my, my SL2S is only 24 megapixel, so I don't mind making these JPEGs 100%. Boom, process. And then uh, I'll share to my Discord group. Uh, yeah, here we go. Another end to another video. Output. Did I make that file? I thought I made it. Did I not hit process? File. Check my output folder. Yep. Must have imagined that I hit process. Ah, I did make it. Just didn't see it. Boom. Okay.